folks, this is Mary from Horse and Garden and today I want to talk about garden goals. And I, well, I guess the first thing I want you to know is that I love planning. I enjoy it, love dreaming, writing down my plans. Squirrel. <laughs> writing down my plans, dreaming about what could come next year. And I think fall is a great time to dream and plan and, and take a look at what worked this year, what didn't work, you know, what we want to do next year. So I'd love to walk you around, but the one thing I absolutely am setting a goal for myself for the garden next year is the right plant in the right place. I did much better this year uh, in terms of the, the perennial beds. I didn't do as well with uh, the containers. So that is definitely on my list, is making sure that the containers have the right plants in the right spot. So my first official goal is to create five bouquets per week, whether that is arrangements for myself, if I make bouquets to give away, but five arrangements per week. This bed is key because it is my cool season hardy annual seedling and seed bed that I've already planted in the fall for the spring. And my dog is just in the way. The other bed is also for cool season hardy annuals, but I will plant those in very early spring. And then in the middle, I do plan to create another three by 10 foot bed to plant warm season tender annuals. Goal number two for 2023 is to put something right in this space. I'm going to decide and I'm going to plant it. Whew, that is a big goal because I've been talking about it forever and haven't made up my mind yet. But spring of 2023, I will definitely have something in, the, in this spot. Goal number three is ha to have containers on the side of the house with some sort of shade perennial. I'm not sure what kind of containers, but something along the side just to add a little pizzazz to the side of the house. Goal number four is to add bulbs to the front flower bed. A variety of things. It'll be fun. Hey guys, since we were talking about um, my goal of planting more bulbs in the front garden, I wanted to share with you my bulbs. Uh, so we'll do a little bit of an unboxing. These I did get from Brex and I am sharing some of them with my mother. So I want to just go through the box with you. There are only a few things in here. Just to let you know, I did um, dig up some daffodils from the back flower bed, and I will be putting those in the front flower bed this year. And uh, I may dig up a few more. <laughs> I had a couple of different varieties of daffodils. Now going forward, I think I'm going to lean a little more heavily on daffodils because the squirrels are intense this year. Um, they always are. I, I lose tulip bulbs all the time. I love tulip bulbs, so I will protect the ones I have. So let me um, share with you the bulbs that I did get and circle back to the tulip topic. So, okay, I'm going to start with 25 bulbs of Discovery Dutch Iris. These get 26 inches tall. They say to plant them four inches deep. They are a purple white falls with golden yellow lip and lilac blue standard. So I am really excited about 
uh, the Dutch iris. I think they'll add a lovely, you know, little display in the late spring, early summer garden. And then I also have two months of flowering crocus. And this is of various colors, but and various sizes. They will range from three to five inches tall, plant three inches deep. And um, again, just a mix of crocuses. I'm excited about that one. I will put the pictures up so you can see what these look like. And I also got 18 drumstick alliums. And these are ball-shaped flowers uh, turned from green to burgundy. So this should be a very, very fun display. They get 24 to 36 inches tall. So they, I'm gonna plant them on the inside of the picket fence out front uh, so that I can see them from the house, but they should get tall enough that they peep over the top of the picket fence. So that'll be fun. And again, you plant three inches deep um, and these should bloom mid to late summer. So that's exciting. Now I did get a few tulips. Um, these are, I got 15 Enchanted Evening Tulip Mixture, and these are a mixture, shades of purple, lilac blue, and white and blue in many varieties. So this should be fun. I will wrap the bulb in, in chicken wire when I, when I drill the holes. I'll try to show you guys that. Um, this will be an experiment for me. I, as I said, the squirrels are a little relentless digging things up. So last year I covered them with a screen uh, and that did seem to help, but I think the chicken wire in the ground will help me just um, so I don't have to cover with screen every year. You know, using these as part of my goal of cut flowers, may, maybe, we'll see. <laughs> the tulips and the daffodils, I think I, I may try to do that. Uh, and try to make some early spring bouquets and you know see how that unfolds I don't know if I would get five bouquets in the early spring when the when the bulbs are blooming I don't have that many I don't have that big of a garden I don't have that many bulbs planted but we'll see hey you never know it is interesting because I do have a bit of a succession the plants the sorry the bulbs behind the house always bloom first because they get more sun. So it is full sun back here and they start to pop out of the ground um, sometimes January, February, if we get one of those like, you know, little weeks of where it warms up. Uh, then the ones in the front garden um, bloom next. And then I have a few planted in the side garden by my side door and those tend to last the longest because they get the least amount of sun. So it is kind of fun that I have a bit of a succession. If I can keep these squirrels away from them, it is a lot of fun. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed our conversation about garden goals and I'm excited. And I know I said I really like to plan, but I also like to wing it a little bit. <laughs> so I like having the plan and then if I go rogue, it's all good. Let me know, do you enjoy planning or are you a person who just wings it? Let me know in the comments. And if you like this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. All right, I'll talk to you soon. See you in the next video.